Captain's Log. Stardate 3.141592653. We are en route to the unexplored planet Calculus, where no mathematician has gone before. Captain, we have entered an asteroid belt. We will need to fly through it before we can reach a clear orbit around the planet. Shall I plot the course through the asteroid belt, sir? Captain, flying through that asteroid belt is going to eat up a lot more fuel than through open space. Check off, lad. You need to plot a course that takes us to the planet at the smallest cost. Ah, yes. We'll need to angle the ship through the asteroid belt in such a way that the total cost of fuel to the asteroids and through open space is the smallest possible. I can do that! Wait, what? How are you going to figure that out? It's easy, Mr. Sulu. We're going to use calculus. Why is he wearing... Why are you wearing a dress? Now to plot the best course, yes? Uh, to, to, to get to planet calculus? Exactly. The, this is where we are right now. This is the asteroid belt, which is 32 million miles wide. And this is the planet calculus, which is past the asteroid belt and 68 million miles away from the edge perpendicular to us. Since we're going to be flying diagonally across the asteroid belt, our path is going to be the hypotenuse of a right triangle. This leg of the triangle is the width of the asteroid belt, and the other leg of the triangle is where we come out into open space. And it's some value we need to try to figure out. We'll call the variable x. The length of different sides of a right triangle can be found with the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the length of one leg squared plus the length of the second leg squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Yes, and because we will be traveling along the hypotenuse of the triangle, its distance is the square root of x squared, plus the width of the asteroid belt squared. We find the distance through open space as 68 million miles, or 6.8 times 10 to the 7th, minus x. The cost of fuel through an asteroid belt is 4 credits, and the fuel through open space is 2 credits. So the total cost is equal to 4 times the distance through the asteroid belt plus two times the distance through open space. And since we are looking for the smallest cost, we can use the first derivative test to find the minimum. Derive the equation. So as you can see, I went through simple mathematical procedures to find x. Once we have gotten to this step, we can calculate that x is equal to 4.03 times 10 to the 6 miles. This is x, which we can then use to find the distance we travel through the asteroid belt. From there, you can find the total cost by going back to the original equation for cost and substituting your answer for x and remember to check your endpoints just to make sure that the price isn't lower anywhere else. So, this is going to be the total cost for our X course. So, then we check the endpoints to make sure nothing costs less. So, if it, we were to travel directly through the asteroid belt and then along open space without cutting through at all, the co total cost would be 2.64 times 10 to the 8 credits, which is greater than 2.57 times 10 to the 8 credits, which is the path we take for X. Then if we were to travel directly through the asteroid belt to planet calculus, our total cost would be 3.01 times 10 to the 8 credits, which, even, which, which will cost even more than the other possible endpoint path. And that is how you find the most cost-effective path using calculus. I still don't get some of that weird stuff about derivatives. I knew I should have taken calculus at Starfleet Academy. I'll explain it to you some other time, laddie. Gentlemen, if you are quite finished. Aye, sir. Laying in course to planet calculus.